Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host. Lee Silber. Hey, Lee, what's up? We're on the clock. We're we gotta on the go. clock. We gotta go, gotta go. Gotta move, gotta go. Okay, let's go fast. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> every time we do something, you weave in a timer. And you know what? That's because you're a genius. Oh, and so I <laughs> started you. to wonder. I'm blushing. Well, no, I started, I'm like, you know, she's an efficiency expert. She's always talking about timing timers and using, you know, a sense of urgency to yeah. make yourself work not just faster, but more efficiently. Yeah. So I looked it up, and in the in the 1950s, there was a, a study called the Time and Motion Study. Oh, you're it right. It was actually a motion study at a time, study. they put it together, the Time and Motion Study. And what they found was that having a, a timekeeping device was more efficient. They called it methods engineering. Okay. And they started using it in healthcare. to see. Oh. So that you get a baseline. How long does it take you to do something? Uh-huh. Then, then they start timing. How can we move? How can we make it go? How can you do it quicker and better? And so that started um, to measure the worker's pace and performance and then try and, you know, give incentives if you do it faster. And so either you're a competitive person and you're going to want to better yourself right. or <laughs> you're not. And they put pressure on you. So the carrot or the stick, one or the right, other. Right, right. And it's amazing the results they got because people were just, le- not late. What's the word? They just didn't realize that they everyone has another gear they don't use. Exactly. It's like that car that has that overdrive thing. <laughs> Hardly ever get, if you're shifting yourself, you don't get to that, whatever, probably the sixth gear. You can maybe get to fifth gear. Right, but right. But sixth, not so much. So that's where timing or giving the set, not to, it's not the timer itself. It does, but it makes you more aware of time. Mm-hmm. It's the fact that your being time makes you, forces you to try and work faster. Is right. that why you oh, are yeah. such a no, fan? I guess I, it's so easy to let time just go by and not, you know, oh, I've only got 20 minutes. I'm just going to, you know, oh, look, I'm on Facebook. I'm doing this. But 20 minutes is an amazing amount of time if you are focused on getting something done. And if you've got that timer going, I'm a you know, big fan of the kitchen timer that ticks. Yeah. Tick, 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 like tick, tick. Um, because it tells my brain, hey, this is this is work time and, you know, it's a little game to me, you know, can, what can I get done? How much can I get done? And then, you know, timer goes off and sometimes I give myself a little reward, you know, jump up and down, private dance party kind of thing. But the, the 20 minutes, it's just, it's amazing what you can get done. And I think we forget that and we get like lost in things and just, you know, it, it puts a line in the sand. That's why I'm, I'm going to do this for 20 minutes. That's it. And then, you know, the little part of your brain can't say no. So you just, you get it done. So <laughs> A little part of my brain always says, yes. <laughs> you know, in baseball, people were not, we were losing fans because the younger generations, this game is too slow. And part of it was just these little things would add up an extra mm-hmm. few seconds here, another minute there. And they were, because they could. So now they started timing how long you had on the mound, like if you right. have meetings, how many meetings you could have, but more of the time, you have a time limit. And what used to be a four minute meeting, it's now under a minute Yeah, because it has to be. So they talk, but okay, so it used to be, what do you have for dinner tonight after the uh, game? Now it's like, going? you need to throw strikes, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Get in there and throw some strikes. Yeah. And so it, for, it, it, and it, unfortunately it hasn't shortened the game because there's other issues at right. play, but, um. And they started with the replay. Time you have a, it has to be done in amount of a certain amount of time. Otherwise, they would just look at angle after angle. Right. I don't know, I don't know. So I really believe that if we are to be more efficient, a clock uh, that you see all the time that's your so you're aware of time mm-hmm. and a timer which is on your phone or you have like you do the kitchen timer, really is the key to doing things more efficiently because you- you'll find a way. You put a boundary around it yeah. because, okay, baseball, for example, I love baseball. Baseball, up until they instituted those timing, was one of the only sports that had no time clock and no whistles. And no end unless the game, yeah, <laughs> like if there was no end yeah, until I mean, the score was yeah. resolved. So, so you know, having putting a boundary around something is really effective. You know, you, you put a boundary now around how long they can review things. You put a boundary around your time. You know, okay, I need to 
you know, get this blog post done. Okay, put a, a time block around it and you're going to be more efficient. Yeah. Think about how, how like if you have something, that you have, even one of your kids' games, you have to get to a kid's game, how much more efficient you are knowing at like two o'clock, you're out the door. Well, I'm a perfectionist. So for me, if there's no time limit on it, mm -hmm. I'll fiddle with it. And sometimes to my detriment, it was better, you know, right. earlier iter alliterations of it. That's the correct word. Iterations. 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 Alliteration was alliteration. the right word because I don't know words. <laughs> I know nothing about words. Um, so that's one thing. But I mean, I, I like to share this and I, you're probably going to cringe. But I remember when we first decided, like, hey, let's do this show. And we were so excited. Remember right, we met right. for coffee and, we, you know, and you looked up how long blogs were. And a lot of them were long. And mm -hmm. I, we said at the beginning, okay, let's try and keep it under 15 minutes. Right. And then we challenged ourselves to under 10. Right. And now we're saying, look, we got to do it under eight. Yeah. And you know what? We're if you look at the time, I looked at the, all the time. Yeah, the times are getting shorter. Getting shorter. No, we want this podcast to be, you know, efficient. We want you to get something out of it. And we don't want to drag it on and on and on. So I think that's why <laughs> Good we should the end the show. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Join us again next week for the Faster, Easier, Better show. 